So one of the blood tests I had to take today was DHEA sulfate, which is dehydroepiandrosterone sulfate. This test is done to check the functioning of the adrenal glands, which is the major source for androgens in the female body. Now, androgens are male hormones, like testosterone, versus estrogens, which are female hormones. Now, because I'm a 28-year-old female, the normal range for my test will be between 65 and 380 micrograms per deciliter. But what's normal for you depends on your gender and your age group. The average value of DHEA sulfate in your system declines with age. This test helps distinguish if your androgens are being released by your adrenal glands or by your ovaries or testes. In my case, ovaries. <laughs> This test is used to diagnose tumors or cancers of the adrenal system, congenital adrenal dysplasia, as well as ovarian tumors and cancers. This test also helps diagnose polycystic ovarian syndrome and is one of the main tests used in diagnosing infertility. While some hormones fluctuate throughout the day or even throughout the course of your cycle, DHEA sulfate stays consistent, so you can have this test done whenever you want to. This is just a basic blood test and there's no fasting or preparation required. Causes of low DHEA sulfate levels include fatigue, loss of libido, joint pain, memory loss, weight gain, and decreased muscle and bone mass. Women with PCOS usually have elevated DHEA sulfate levels. I've included a few links below to websites that I found helpful, and I hope you'll go and check them out. And good luck on your DHEA sulfate test.